Hello and welcome to another edition of History Book Corner. My name is John Miller. I'm the executive director here at the Shippensburg History Center. And today's book is written by Peter Snow and it's called When Britain Burned the White House, the 1814 Invasion of Washington. This book was published in 2014 through uh, Thomas Dune Books, St. Martin's Press of New York. And this is an overall very great book about the campaign that led up to the burning of Washington by the British troops on August 24th, 1814. But before we talk about the book, um, some background, because there's a lot of myths about the War of 1812 because it's not what I would consider as a majorly recognized war anymore. It's kind of that obscure topic there. So the War of 1812, one of the things that I always hear from people is, it's our second war for independence. It is not. Our independence was never threatened to begin with. We had already gained our independence in 1783 from the British. So they never came back to conquer America. The War of 1812 kind of started because British uh, ships, their sailors were boarding American ships and they were supposedly looking for conscripts that had deserted the British Navy. And in some cases, they were actually conscripting American soldiers and pressing them into British naval service. So that was pretty much an illegal trade. At the same time, you have Napoleon of France who was starting to wage his war for his conquest of Europe. And because of that, British um, military and Navy pretty much began uh, either fighting France or putting up blockades, blocking trade. And because of that, American ships were not allowed to trade with France. So in reality, the War of 1812, it's about establishing American sovereignty in the world. And according to the British, when they started uh, invading the Chesapeake Bay region or fighting along the Canadian border, for them, this was a war about kind of giving us a grubbing and putting America back in its place. So it's not what I would consider as a war for second independence. So getting on with the book here. So during the War of 1812, um, in 1813, you had some British Navy uh, vessels that were patrolling the Chesapeake region of Maryland. They conducted some small raids. Um, there were some skirmishes and some burning of towns that occurred. But when Napoleon and his war was pretty much wrapped up in 1814, England went ahead and sent British troops over here to kind of hurry up this war a little bit. And in 1814, that is when you start seeing British troops arriving in the Chesapeake Bay region. And one of the things that um, they wanted to do was kind of humiliate America. And basically, if they can take the capital, then that would be a major humiliation for Americans. So as the British, they came up through the Chesapeake Bay region, they went ahead and offloaded. They fought a battle um, called Bladensburg, which they pushed the American uh, militia, pretty much pushed them out of the way. And by August 24th, 1814, they entered Washington, DC, and they pretty much take hold of the city, doing as much destruction as they can through fire, there was a storm that came up, which kind of saved a lot of the buildings from being burned to the ground. So the book here is very good because it allows you to kind of follow the events of how the war started. It goes right into when the British troops started coming over here, uh, particularly the Navy, and how they conducted campaigns in the Chesapeake Bay region, to the time you get to what I call the summer of shot and steel and fire. And from there, as the British troops leave Washington, D.C. a day later, this book here will take you right into kind of like a follow-up with the Battle of Baltimore, of course, with the uh, staunch resistance uh, that the Americans put up with at Fort McHenry. So the book, like I said, is a very good read, um, chock full of images in certain sections. Um, it's just, it's a wonderful piece. You know, here you can see the Battle of uh, North Point, which was the battle that kind of like was right before the Battle of Baltimore. And then you can see like um, the Battle of Baltimore itself happening there. 
and here you got some of the humiliating aspects such as you know the fire being set in Washington DC the White House here in flames and such so it's a very interesting read if you're interested in localized uh, history that deals more with the region this is very good because Shippensburg men some of them did go down and were the parts of the defense of Baltimore particularly with Fort McHenry so very good book to read highly recommend it check it out we'll do other reviews on some of the other books on this very subject um, because when the 200th anniversary of this came around in 2014 I actually kind of did several articles for the Emmitsburg News Chronicle kind of putting this whole War of 1812 with this campaign into perspective breaking it down for people to kind of get a sense of what happened and why these events are so important and why these events themselves need to be remembered. So until next time, you guys take it easy. We'll see you.